हेलो फ्रेंड्स अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ब्रिटिश रोड अर्ली डेवलपमेंट इन हाईवे प्लानिंग इन जयकर कमिटी सिंस 1853 रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट वाज मेनली अंडर फॉर लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड रोड एक्टेड एज अ फेडर सर्विस टू रेलवे आफ्टर फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर as the motor came motor uh, car came on the road the inadequate and existing road network into light came into light the following are the recommendations of the jaikar committee committee suggested that central government should take the proper charge of road consideration it as a matter of national interest they gave more stress on long term planning program for a period of 20 year which is uh, hence called indian road congress irc in 18, 1934 they suggested imposition of additional taxation on motor transport which include duty on motor spirit vehicle taxation license fees for vehicle paying for hire this led to introduction of development funds called central road fund crf in 1929 road development in the country was beyond the financial capacity of local government and therefore the central revenue should support they suggested a dedicated research organization to carry out research and development work this resulted in the formation of central road research institute crri in 1950 indian road congress so basically what is indian road congress indian road congress holds all the power in its hand or any advancement or any advanced technology which should be introduced in indian highways you can see there are many ircs for uh, different payments or different uh, methods of road construction like rigid payment flexible payment and more are there there are more than 100 ircs more than 100 special its special publications so irc holds all the control towards indian highways so you can see here IRC is formed to promote and encourage the science and practice of the road building and maintenance to provide a forum for expression of collective option of its member on matters affecting road to promote the use of the standard specification and practice to advise regarding education experiment and research connected with road to hold the periodic meeting to discuss technical questions regarding roads uh this point is mentioned that as there is more advancements in technology the iits or the main professors in the iits uh, hold a board meeting so that there is some improvement or there is some advanced technology should introduced in the highway and then the code is revised to suggest improved methods of administration planning design operation use and maintenance of the road to establish furnish maintain libraries and museum for further furthering the science of the road marking so according to jaikar committee there were three road 320 year road plan and the first was the uh, nagpur road plan that is which came from year 1943 to 63 due to the econo- overall economic de- depression in the country after world war the road development fund was not used for development work but sent into routine maintenance this causes further deterioration of the road under the impact of the heavy war time traffic at the point of this time conference of chief engineers of the province of, of convinced at nagpur in 1843 a long term road development plan for india was drawn up as known as nagpur road plan the main features of the nagpur road plan are divided into four classes the first is a national highway second is a state highway and the other is district road and village road so what is national highway which will traverse several province or state and would be of national importance for strategic administrative and other purposes that is connecting the major cities in the country and pro- the next is the state highway which will be the other main road of the province of state which connects the major cities in the state district road district road is for 
which would take traffic from the main road to the interior of the interior of the each district which is divided into major district road and other district road and the other is village road which would link the village to the road system and will be designed constructed under the authority of the province or state highway department so here the nhnsh uh, is having a number that is uh, their respective number and mdr also is having mdr and odr is also having respective number but there is no uh, number for the village road the main features of the uh, nagpur road plan was national provisional highway and measured district road will be provided with a hard durable crust the committee planned to construct 2 lakh kilometer across the country within 20 years they recommended the construction of the start star and the grid pattern of the road throughout the country which was a specialization of nagpur road plan and in this plan it was designed that a road density of 16 km per 100 square km uh, road should be developed the nagpur plan laid down the following formulas for road road length of different classes considering the geographical agricultural and population condition the first is for length of national and provisional highway and major district road in miles uh, here it is it is a by 5 a by 5 plus b by 20 plus n plus 5t plus d minus r where a is the agricultural area of province in square miles b is the non agricultural area in square miles and is the number of the town and district uh, town and villages having a population of uh, ranging 2000 to 5000 t is the number of the town and villages having a population of over 5000 d is the an allowance for agricultural and industrial development about 15% and r is a railway mileage in the area under consideration This is the second formula length of other district and village road which applies for the uh, low range of road in miles here it is v by 5 plus q by 2 plus r plus 2s plus d where q is the number of village with population 5012 r is the number of villages with population 1000 to 2000 s is the number of villages with population 2001 to 5000 and d is the allowance for agricultural and industrial development after the fall after the nagpur road plan the second road plan was bombay road plan in the year 1961 to 81 by the end of the nagpur plan the length of the road investigated under it was achieved but the road system was deficient in many respect the changed economics industrial and agricultural condition in the country is that the period needed a review for a nagpur road plan hence a second long term road plan of 20 years was drafted by the government of india which is popularly known as bombay road plan so feature of the bombay road plan is the total length targeted to construct was about 10 lakh kilometer which will be a road density of 32 kilometer per square kilometer so 40% of the road length should be surfaced the construction of 1600 kilometer of expressway 1600 kilometers of expressway was also included in the plan so expressway is to connect the two major cities which was more efficient than the national highway funds for the highways financing should come not only from the beneficiary or the motor vehicle but also from whom indirect benefits occur lucknow plan which was implemented in the year 1981 to 
This plan was implemented due to the following two shortcomings. The first two plans were not conceived to meet the need of the freight and the passenger movement by road. The plan was not part of the total transportation plan of the country. So next, we'll study what are the features of the Lucknow Road Plan. Lucknow Road Plan is classified into three systems, that is primary, secondary and tertiary. In primary system, there is expressway and national highways. In secondary, there is state highway and major district road. In, in tertiary, that is rural roads, which includes other district road and village road. Road length for the year 2020 should be 27 lakh kilometer, giving the density of 82 kilometer per 100 square kilometer. And all weather road should connect all village or group of village with a population of 500 and above by 2001. This was the aim of the Lucknow Road Plan. For villages less than a population of 500, the road network shall be so planned as to result in all weather road being available as a distance of less than 3 km in plain area and 5 km in hill area. Expressway should be constructed, constructed on major traffic corridor to provide speedy travel. In this, national highway should form a grid, square grid of 100 by 100 km. State highway should be extended to serve district headquarters, sub-divisional taluka headquarters, major agricultural market centers and ports. The major district road that is MDR should serve and connect all towns and villages with a population of 1500 and above. The, the other district road should serve and connect villages with a population of 1000 to 1500. Energy conservation, environmental quality of road and road safety measures were also given due to importance in this plan. The selection of specif specification should be done on the basis of the following. Their amenability, their amenability to stage construction, to need to adopt appropriate technology, the use of the local material, the use of a soil stabilization technique, the use of the alternative binder, the use of content concrete pavement, whereas economically feasible and the need to serve bitumen. Now, in this Lucknow Road Plan, all the advanced technologies like soil stabilization and the concrete road instead of bitumen road is preferred. Following formula gives the length of the various classes of the road as per the above guidelines. Length for NHN KM area by 10,000 which is area in uh, square kilometer. This, this is the expectations of the Lucknow Road Plan. Similarly for the state highway, area divided by 25. Our length in KM is 62.5 into number of the towns with population of above 5000 minus area in square KM divided by 50. Similarly for MDR in KM, that is 19 to number of the towns with population above 5000. The total road length in KM is should be 4.74 into number of the villages in town. Rural road length in KM. This can be calculated by finding the total road length and subtracting the other categories. As discussed previously, the three road plan in which we have studied many transformation of the highways from national highway to state highway. Now we will be studying on urban areas. So how the roads in urban areas should look or should be. The first is the rectangular or block pattern. In this, you can see a proper grid is formed in urban area. There are, there are the business areas in center and the main road is beside it. And the built up area that is the residential area is located outside the central business area. This type of system is observed in Chandigarh. As you look into, as, as you look uh, in Google Maps in Chandigarh, you can observe this type of pattern. The next is radial or star and block 
pattern this type of pattern is observed in nagpur uh, nagpur uh, given by nagpur plan uh, as shown in this there is a central business district cbd area in the downtown and the rectangular pattern or grid type is uh, built up here that is residential area and these are the radial roads which gives a aesthetic view to the city next is radial or star and circular pattern so this is a radial road this is a ring road and these are the built up area this is the cbd area this type of pattern is clearly observed in cannot place in delhi this is next is radial or star and circular pattern this is the radial road these are the grids or radial and this is the cbd area and these are in, in this there are built up area the next is hexagonal pattern and minimum travel time is the next uh, road type that is that is a mixture of the road that is star and grid and hexagonal pattern this is a very complex situation but the disadvantage is the area that is a built up area is very less as most of the area is covered by the road the choice of the pattern very much depend on the locality the layout of different towns villages industrial and production centers and on the choice of the planning planning engineer the rectangular or the block pattern has been adopted in the city of chandigarh the nagpur road plan formula was prepared assuming star and the grid pattern classification of urban roads urban roads is classified into arterial sub arterial collector streets and local streets irc 86 is for urban roads so now we will take some numerical depending upon the uh, topic studied according to the 1981 census the area of the state of maharashtra was 308000 square kilometer the number of the town population was about 5000 about 5000 was 567 the total number of town and villages are 33778 determine the length of various road categories so sorry for the bullets right here this is one whole numerical so the bullet bullets this is whole one thing the solution is length of the national highway as i have studied uh, as i have uh, said the previous uh, 20 year road plan that is area by 50 the area mentioned is 308000 by 50 that is 6160 km length of the state highway is area by 50 you can see the uh, area is 308000 by 25 we will get the national highway and state highway area and the length of the major district road is area by 12.5 you will get this value so length is equal to 19 to number of the towns and the villages with population above 5000 is 19 to 567 you will get the answer of 51030 km length of the total road is 4.74 into number of the towns and villages like this length of state highway and mdr obtained from it from the first formula has been used to calculate the length of the rural road length should be different if second formula for sh and mdr lengths are used this type of numerical this type of numerical is not much asked in the university just this is just for the knowledge purpose so thank you for watching and please subscribe ikida